Hi guys and welcome back for another clarinet tutorial from Nottingham Music Excellence. So in this video I'm going to play the C1 study Allegro con Spirito by Bachofen. Hope you enjoy the video, here we go. Okay, so you've heard the music, let's just say a few words about some of the detail. So I think just be careful not to play that too fast, just be careful of what you've got coming up on the second page. You don't want to set a pulse that's unmanageable for the whole piece. So just enjoy the fact that this isn't too bad and just play it with a really steady pulse. And then from the third line, we've got a bit of that articulation detail kicking in. So I think really separate those staccato notes just makes it sound a little bit, little bit more interesting. And then you've got the triplets to semiquavers. Next section, I think, be really careful with the articulation detail, and I think a good place here to apply some dynamic contrasts. So use some of your own dynamics here, as there aren't any written in the music. I suggested to a pupil that I did this with recently that you could have something like Perhaps would make it a bit more interesting so you've got the forte the piano the forte the piano i think that works quite nicely and also if you've got some really short notes in there as well that gives you a time again an amount of time left within that note to to grab a quick breath if you need it and then onto the second page Again, be careful with the articulation detail there. So in twos there. And then a similar kind of thing. Now, from this point onwards, this is where it gets tricky. You don't really get any good places to breathe from this point to the end of the piece. So I think make sure before this bottom F that you take a really good breath. And hopefully you can get to that point in that breath and then take another really good breath. Now, the 
this is the sticking point, I think, isn't it? When I've played it a few times, if I'm going to make a mistake, this is the place. So... So there, what have I done there? So I've gone A, B, right hand B, left hand C, and then B flat, right hand C, left hand C sharp. So I've gone... I don't know why that is tricky. Why is that tricky? Da, 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 da. It's because I think as you cross over the line there, you your brain tells you that you're going to carry on going up chromatically, but you don't. You go back to the B flat. So you've got... And then I think your brain is expecting a C sharp there. And as you cross over the line, you haven't. You've got a B flat. And then, oh yeah, I remember this bit now. So what I did here with my pupil is we we wrote in, we cheated a tiny bit. So we kind of did a little bit of a writ, which sets up a breath there, which makes it sound a bit more like it belongs there. So we kind of did. And I think that works okay. I don't think anyone's going to lose sleep over that one. So I'll just repeat that again. So we went. works okay so just have a breath there before bar 29 just have a breath before the C if you do a little writ there don't overdo it I'm always cautious of writing things in the music like that because then pupils tend to do a massive writ so just a little writ I think just helps that breath sound a bit more like it belongs there and then I think the next bit this is where you can really execute some good detail here so try to bring out that. So try to bring out that really clearly and then fit the other notes in between it. Oh yeah, and then we get to the trills. Now these trills are a bit nasty, aren't they? You've just got to the end of the piece. You've played all those notes and then you're faced with some really nasty, horrible trills. So G to A trill, it's not ever so brilliant, isn't it? Now, I don't like doing that personally on the A key. It's just hard to get control of it. So I'm doing the, I'm doing that second from the top, the third side key up. I'm doing that one for G to A. And also I'm trying to fit in those two grace notes before the next trill. So I'm going. So I'll just put those together again and I'll show you how I did that. So I kind of did a G to A with the side key. B flat trill, the worst trill on the clarinet, isn't it? So B flat, and I'm using the top side key for that one. That's a nasty ending. That's a little bit evil, isn't it? So... So I think that's my closing advice for this piece. Just make sure that you've got a tempo that works for the whole piece and make sure you don't fall into that trap, whatever you do, of playing those first two lines too quick um, because it will just make you trip up later in the piece. So I think that's it for this video. I hope you, I hope you found that useful. And if you did, of course, click that like button, leave me a complimentary comment in that box below and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.